How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We are going to be working on the 2018 Dodge Durango Off-road edition. All right, it's a lot to say. I know a lot to say but here it is. I'm gonna show you guys It's in pretty good shape uh, Global body condition 99% which is literally spotless. Maybe it has one scratch on it uh, Frame is 100 interiors 100 which is fantastic. Let's find out what the 99 is ah okay so okay crouch there you go it's this front left headlight that's in a little bit of a worse for wear shape than the rest but it's fine it doesn't matter uh the focus of today's video is going to be working on this v8 hemi we have in here it is how many horsepower 549 basically 550 horsepower and we're going to be pulling that motor out rebuild or tearing it down rebuilding it and turning it into an off-road monster so there we go uh yeah this thing is an off-road quote quote uh durango which it's got like fender flares it's got like a front ram bar uh definitely wider tires than usual because they do stick out quite a bit which is as you can see here which is the reason for the fender flares let me see what happens if i take these off Oh, yes. Yeah, so take these off, and then it's just, like, poking out quite a bit. So we're going to try to be re reusing our wheels here just because um, we're definitely going to want to. So let's see. First things first, let's get this bad boy in the air. And we're going to take a look at the undercarriage. So the car itself visually is in fantastic shape the only downside about it as you guys might have seen here is the motor is in meh shape and the suspension is also not in great shape but without even looking at any of that i'm pretty sure it still runs so that is a plus oh yeah this thing has everything on it yeah so this was an auction buy if you guys didn't know we did manage to find this one at the auction house um, so obviously it's going to be in pretty decent shape compared to the usual things I'm buying on this game just because auction house is usually at least 50% or above. Um, I think they usually run too, unless it's like a one star, then it might not run, but this one was a four star. So, all right. And then at engine V8 Hemi, there's no engine swap options, right? Yeah, no, no swap options. All right. So here is the full intact Hemi. Let's see here. It is actually full and intact, which is fantastic. Um, well, I'm going to go through a quick cleaning and breakdown process. You guys will see me do it. Um, we're just going to go through, literally pull everything off. I'm going to repair everything, make everything uh, good as new. And then we're going to be putting it all back together with performance parts, performance headers, you know, everything. And uh, yeah, so give me probably about 10 minutes, probably like a minute for you guys. But we're going to tear this bad boy down.
there we go guys i just got the entire motor the hemi motor pulled apart i got all the parts repaired and i think we did pretty good yep all right everything looks good so far um so let's go through here i'm gonna get some of the basic stuff on and stuff we need a new bearing cap yeah we destroyed one and then we're gonna be putting on some performance parts uh not that one then we need okay okay i see i see the stuff that we need here so i already have some performance pistons and we have some good piston rings all right well then really quick i'm going to slap all these in make sure they're all going to do good and looks like i'm going to get about a nine percent gain in horsepower for uh all of these all right awesome and we have any rod caps we save some rod caps too all right that's the good part about buying uh auction house uh like cars and trucks guys is because most of the time they're in pretty decent shape so you're able to repair almost everything so uh that's kind of a a big money saver for me at least all right let's get these last two rod caps in All right, let's go get one more crank bearing crankshaft uh, cap, get our oil filter, and we'll see if we have our oil pan left over. Um, I think we should have that left over. I don't think that got ruined for us. And then we need the uh, eight here. Let me scroll down. Okay, I'll stuck with the yellow one. I think the yellow one's the right one. Yep. Get our cap in. Oil pan, check. And check. All right, now let's get our flywheel and transmission components. Pick up our alternator while we're right here. Uh, so we need flywheel. Then we're also going to need, if I can think about this here, clutch, pressure plate, and the plate itself. Let's see, only got two extra clutch plates at the moment, which is nice. Alrighty, then fuel filter. All right, let's go get some other stuff here. So I'll grab the filter. I have an extra pump, so we're just gonna save the pump for now. Rotate this bad boy back over. Slap that in. Bang. Okay, so then we need engine head B V8 overhead valve G. Okay, let's see if we can actually find these V8 overhead valve G. Looks like we do not have this engine head in here. Okay. That is perfectly fine. We can use some of the, uh, the other stuff. Wow, we don't have any headers also. Okay. So we won't be using entirely performance parts. And that's not because I don't want to. Uh, it's because simply we don't have it. All right, that's all right. So we grab, so, okay, let's grab some new push rods and some spark plugs. So we're going to need, what is that? That's 16 spark plugs. V8, it's got dual spark plug cylinders. Uh, let's get our ignition stuff. Where's that coil pack? What, which coil packs are we using? Was it these? I think it was these. Let's just hope. I'm just going to buy them. Hope these are the ones that we needed. Uh, valve. Uh, let's see. Six, is eight or six, 16 too. Yeah, one for each intake and one for uh, each exhaust. It's going to say I'm second guessing myself here. And then these I can just go through in a line and slowly add each individually one. And it is really convenient. Like I mentioned before, the... Uh, there we go. The rocker arms for these are on a rail, so good to get them all at once. Pop on over here real quick. Each individual one. Wow, this is very painful. 
It's not that bad in the game, though. In real life. It's so much worse. Alright, then there we go. Get our last two in. Bam! There we go. Alright, now we need V8 overhead valve G. So let's do overhead valve G. And then we'll look for those arms. There they are. Okay. Sweet, we have the head covers. So yeah, there's not too much performance gain we're going to get from this motor. It might be uh, 25 to 30% gain, guys. And I got the wrong cover. Mm, dang it. Uh, but yeah, it might be like a 25 to 30% gain, but I'm not really seeing much more of a boost in horsepower. Mainly because uh, there's just not a lot of extra stuff for this. Wow, we don't even... We're missing so much stuff here. Just trying to think if there's anything I can do about this, but I don't think there is. It's alright. We'll see how we'll see how fast we can make this Hemi. About throttle. Okay, still need to get throttle and fuel rails. So there's a little bit of a gain that we can put in. Okay. So we got some things we can go get. We need to go down here. So we can get our throttle body. Our V8. Then we can also get the uh, fuel rails. Yeah, that's what it was. The fuel rail DIs, the most expensive ones here. $950 a piece. Oops, give me that. There we go. And then in the next video, guys, we will be doing uh, the rest of the suspension and we'll be fixing up the body. Um, I think only like two things. V6 speed, dang it. Uh, only like two things is what we need to change. I think it's just like tires, suspension, and the front headlight. All right, there it is, V6B. At least that one gives us a little bit of boost. All right, camshaft, the overhead valve C, we have that. I know we have that. Cam V8 overhead valve C. There it is. Cam gear. We gotta go to the main shop. Oh no, that was the wrong one. We need this one, then we need our timing chain. Because the timing chain is usually not repaired. Um, I'm gonna wait and see. It's gonna either be the regular or the F version, and I'm not sure. F, okay. Time and cover. Make sure I pull these bad. Water pump good. All right. See, water pump pulley and I4, okay, I4 uh, steering pump. Our steering pump. I4, is that I4, I4B? I4B, okay. That's all right. Get us that 1% horsepower gain. This thing will be still like incredibly fast. It'll still be probably around 700 horsepower, is what I'm thinking. Um, but still, yeah, really, 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 really fast. All right, crankshaft. There we go. The overhead valve. All righty. Then all we need left is the belt, which is another G belt should be only one though belt tensioner in and ta-da there we go done 
392 Hemi. See, this one actually did a very well job of being not too clashing on color. So as you just got the black, you got the silver slash like aluminum iron looking color. Then you got the red from the performance parts and they actually all do match very well. All right, and then, oh wait, we got some stuff in here. I forgot we gotta take out. Give me that radiator, give me that battery. And then we actually have a full working air box for once. None of these cars ever actually utilize the air box. Oh, this is a rotary air box, okay. All right, we'll get that charged. We'll get all the other stuff repaired and ready to go. I don't even know if there was any anti-lock braking stuff. All right, let's see. Rotary. Let's see if there's a rotary air filter. Hey, there is. All right, that's sweet. All right, got the battery. All right, now let's just add in the things that I know we have. All right, yeah, it looks like there's no anti-lock brakes anywhere to be put in, so going without that for now. Alrighty, there we go. That helped boost a little bit of the, uh, yeah, that helped boost the uh, the price a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get the gearbox connected. Actually, we're gonna get a performance gearbox connected, just because I'm not sure how the. Okay, it's a V8. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how the stock one would hold up exactly. Let's see, V8 gearbox. Where's it at? Looks like we saved one. There we go. So we'll get the transfer case put on, and then that will have to be it because we don't want to put any of the uh, any of the other drivetrain parts back in because we still need to do uh, redo the suspension here. So yeah, this is four wheel drive. Obviously, it is a Durango. But there we go, guys. Uh, we are finally finished with the off road Durango here. We still got a little bit more to do. I might change the color around. I'm not sure yet, um, but we've got the suspension to do and we got the tires and wheels to do because this is off-road edition. So we are gonna be wanting to go back in, uh, maybe do a little bit larger tires, smaller wheels, I think. Um, I think that might fit in there. Yeah, we might be able to increase it by about an inch in, uh, in diameter, but there we go, guys. If you guys enjoyed this build so far, leave a like and a comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.